Good morning, this is Freeze Notice Meteorologist Josh with Seneschal. I'll take a quick look at the uh, the rainfall forecast the next five and seven days. Also going to look at the fire weather forecast and we'll take a look at some soil temperatures from now through next Monday. So let's start out with the five day rainfall forecast. What we can see here is pretty significant precipitation for much of the central, southern Midwest and also into much of the Delta region. Generally one to two, locally three to four inches of rain the next five days. Heaviest amounts are favored across uh, southern Ohio, southern Indiana, and also southern Illinois. Uh, these areas, again, could see as much as three to four inches. Why so much rainfall? Well, we're going to have a lot of moisture streaming from the Gulf. Also, a big upper-level trough coming in from the west. And that is going to fire off several rounds of showers and thunderstorms, especially Wednesday through Friday morning. Now, notice farther west, many of the hard red winter wheat areas are considerably drier, especially in western uh, Kansas, western Oklahoma, and the panhandle of Texas. Many of these areas are going to be looking at a tenth of an inch or less of rainfall the next five days. Now, we are looking at more a half inch to an inch for eastern, far eastern areas of the hard red winter wheat. So I think that many of the areas that are considerably dry are going to continue to be drier the next five days with better rainfall chances farther to the east. Now, with uh, dry weather in place, we're looking at the potential for fire weather. We do have critical fire weather conditions across much of the state of Kansas and also into far northwestern Missouri. Blowing dust is a possibility, strong winds today, dry topsoils, that's going to be an issue in the near term. Uh, so overall, we're looking at pretty dry weather for these areas. Now, as we head to the seven-day forecast, we do see considerably uh, more rainfall for the hard red winter wheat. Now, it's interesting that the HPC is showing this much rainfall, and I think that they're looking at the, the European model, which does show a pretty big rainmaker for the southern plains, Saturday night into Sunday. Now, the GFS model is considerably drier, and there is a lot of model spread for this weekend concerning this potential rainfall event. So while we may see a wetter trend for the hard red winter wheat later this weekend, confidence is low, and there is certainly no guarantee that we're going to see this much widespread precipitation. Now another big issue, those soil temperatures. Right now, this is the forecast, 40s and 50s for that 0 to 10 centimeter soil temperature for most of the Corn Belt. Now we are going to be looking at a pretty cool pattern, mid to late week into the weekend, especially for the northern Midwest. And as a result, this time next week, Soil temperatures generally still in the 40s and 50s. In fact, really the northern half to northern two-thirds of the Midwest is going to be looking at soil temperatures below 50 um, for the top 10 centimeters, or roughly the top 4 inches. So uh, not much change in the soil temperatures the next 7 days. Dry weather for hard red winter wheat the next 5 days, potentially wetter into the weekend, and also a wet pattern um, Wednesday, especially through Friday, for much of the Midwest and also um, into the Delta region. So overall, we're looking at a rain, rainy pattern. Could be some planting delays for the Delta, also extreme southern Midwest. And those soil temperatures are definitely going to take some time to warm up closer to normal.